there are days where being conscious feels very heavy. It feels very lonely, alienating. That there are days like a warrior where you have to deal with your life with awareness, not like with this shallow, uh, not giving two dams about anything, but instead you know that you have hard decisions and hard choices that you have to make, you have to take, take dif do difficult actions even if you know that they're difficult but you know that they're the right thing to do. You have to face reality, you have to face it. And you realize that you cannot anymore mingle, relate, vibe with other people. You can go, you can do any sort of small talk, small conversations, small, small activities um, that maybe just talking about the news or what's happening in politics and all these things become so it's not satisfying anymore because you know the lie and it comes with this difficulty to know that you've been you have to swallow those hard truths the truth of like you've been lied to your entire life you're being deceived and the difficulty of having to be conscious conscious with your body knowing that now your sensitivity is heightened to everything so even eating things that maybe are not in alignment with your body, you're feeling them, you're sensing them, you're getting the consequence of that. Whereas when you're just in ignorance, it doesn't matter what you eat, right? It's like you're so numb down to it that whatever you put in your you put in your body, you don't feel it, right? Seeing the majority of people around you distracted with the pleasures of this world that you know are no longer pleasurable. Now you know that the real pleasures are the spiritual pleasures. The real deep pleasures that are not given or offered by this false matrix and by this deceptive world. And then you have to walk around and around with other people and see them feeding their body with parasites and um, insects and chemicals and everything that is there to just slowly kill them and keep them asleep and yet you have to watch it and you have to see them put in their body the most of chemicals of all chemicals that cause them to get sick and you have to let it pass where you're actually witnessing people just being happy pretending to be happy that temporary joy and temporary satisfaction that comes from just the persona and the character of what they've achieved, what this person says about them, where you really don't really care about how you show up and the pain that you may cause the people around you, the pain that you may be causing the animals that are around you. There's no consciousness, right? And now all of a sudden you're conscious and you're conscious of every word that you have to say, the impact that your word can cause, because now you know the power of the word. Now you're conscious about how everything's connected, so you're more mindful about other people's emotions and energies and feelings, because also you can now feel other people's energies, and if it's something that is of intense conflict, you want to avoid it because then you have to feel all of that shadow and all of that energy that is being backlash from the other person because of what you felt. Yeah, it's kind of one of those days, isn't it? And you just sit there and observe your life around you and realize that you don't want to be an alien because you don't really want to be an alien. You don't want to be labeled as such. It's so... It's so sad, isn't it? You're sitting there and observing how crazy the world is. And at the same time, how it seems like, you know what, people are just living day by day. Uh, there's a lot of pain, but they're also, they're also not aware that there's anything happening at all. 
and then you're sitting there and you know all the crazy shits that are happening and you can't do anything about it but just keep making conscious choices every time i did do an activation a few days ago about the struggles of being a pioneer of this path that's why we say it's the path of the warrior it's not like you want to be a warrior you know you prefer not to be a warrior also maybe many of you prefer not to be a warrior prefer not to be an empath prefer not to be um, an alien prefer not to be the black sheep prefer to be all these things but yeah you are is it easier or more difficult to be um, a pioneer of consciousness I would say both it depends on the days it depends on the situations because also being giving that task is not easy it's like literally being a warrior of God that you are in this spiritual war you're in this you're in this disrupt, disruptive infiltrated world and yet you have to be the light in all of it and on, on top of that being your sensitivity getting heightened and everything just feels worse than what it does you're even able to absorb things much more um, and sometimes I laugh about it because in the beginning I used to say if somebody told me in the beginning look this is what's gonna happen to you would you sign up for it prior to this awakening prior to this veil being lifted I don't know how positive this message is but I felt like just being raw and real that there are days that feel like this that feel like it feels heavier to be moving through this world with this awareness because it means putting more energy and effort in everything that you do putting more of your heart in everything that you do putting more of your heart in what you choose and what how you speak and what you put in your body and what you say yes to and um and yeah you know some you know some other people may call it like you're overthinking but i wouldn't call it this i wouldn't say it's overthinking it's actually thinking <laughs> it's actually thinking because have we ever questioned anything in this world we haven't we just took on all of our habits and our lifestyles and decided you know what i'm just gonna take them and not even question where that came from question or even think use my thinking capacity to for myself to think for myself rather than to allow somebody else to think i think that the message that i have from all of this is that you're actually standing in that thin line where you're still part of the old matrix right you're still part of that false matrix but you're aware so you're as if like one eye is in beyond the veil and another eye is operating and is operating within and then you forget and then you get absorbed and very easily you can go into that allure that temptation that you're being tempted to go back into the haze into the amnesia but yeah you're standing there and you're like you know what i don't want to go back to the amnesia i don't want to go back and numb myself out i don't want to go back and forget actually i've been handed over a key that is so special and i need to honor it 